Good afternoon, everyone. Today I'd like to take a look at the snow records in Boston back to 1730. The sun continues its slumber, and if it does, we'll have the coldest March ever recorded. Five of the snowiest winters so far. Key West, Southern Florida breaking records, dropping like dominoes. Great Lakes ice above last year, going up to 95% this year. And Nantucket slush barrels. Wow, talk about an ice cream headache paddling out. And for my viewers in Knott's Island, thanks for the support. This video is for you. With snows blanketing the Northeast United States, Boston is just a sliver away from the all-time record if they haven't broken it already. These are the conditions, what the roads look like up in that entire Northeast United States area. The top five snowiest U.S. cities so far this winter. Number five, Syracuse. 74 inches, but the normal to date is 87. They're closing in on the record there. Boston, almost three times the average. Erie, Pennsylvania, already above. Buffalo, New York, 20 inches above. Worcester, Massachusetts, more than double the normal. Again, trying to get through this every day, it's just going to get thicker and thicker over the next month or so. I came across this article, Snowstorm Wallops Boston with 20 more inches, records fall. Again, when you focus on this type of cold weather anomaly since weather records began. Now, the weather records began on an official date in 1870. But if we go back through, we can easily find weather reports dating back to 1733, Captain Robert Gray, 1792. And a trip through history, you can continue to find weather reports back to the 1740s. Although they put it at a 150-year snow record, I'm going to say I disagree. It's my own personal opinion. I believe we're actually breaking records back into the 1700s now, which would put us on par with 250 to 300-year snow records, which would be expected when we get into monitor minimum type cooling conditions. Another quick look at the streets across Boston. A quick look into the sun. We're still down at incredibly low solar activity, just one year post maximum. It should not be that quiet at all. Here's my prediction. If the low solar activity persists for seven days or 10 days more, March along the east coast of the United States will be the coldest ever recorded. And if we look back, Last week to see what kind of temperature records were broken. We got 647 new record lows. Florida was included in that. This is southern Florida. Key West breaking records. That is right near Cuba. Key West broken new records. Miami's tied. Fort Lauderdale tied. West Palm Beach record lows. And it just keeps dropping that far south should tell you that the climate has definitely changed into a cold era. If you absorb information better through bar charts, here you go. Look at all the daily record shattered temperatures. The top five lowest daily records. Now notice this is Missouri, Kentucky. These are getting into more of the southern areas. A couple more reports here. The coldest so late in the season. Norfolk, Virginia, Lexington, Kentucky. Now these are going back to 1899. It's just showing that the cool is pushing further into the south. Another prediction for you, with the extreme cold, corn and wheat planting across most of the United States will be delayed by two to three weeks this spring. And if the winter comes earlier like it did this year with snow on top of the crops, a one month reduction in growing time, which will push prices up for all the grains. This is taking a look at the 850 millibar chart. A thousand is at ground level. You can see the temperature variance. Really strange on the map. Super hot out in California, yet below across the entire eastern portion of the U.S. Single digits recorded across Georgia and Alabama, Kentucky and Tennessee. It just shows this proliferation of cold temperatures pushing much further south. And after taking a look at those last few articles, I jumped over to the NOAA website for February 27th to see what records were broken. Record snowfall in Angelino, Texas. Record snowfall in Dallas, Fort Worth. Record snowfall in Memphis, Tennessee. 
record low, Jackson, Mississippi, Huntsville, Alabama, second snowiest ever, Stuttgart, lowest temperature ever, record snowfall, Little Rock, Arkansas, Raleigh, North Carolina, Piedmont, record snowfall, more record snowfall, Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina, Chicago, record cold, Duluth, Minnesota, they're always cold in the winter, record cold. South Bend, Indiana, this is one of the snowiest places in America. That lake effect snow pounds that place every year. But they are snowfall record back to 1894. Snowiest record ever for February in South Bend. And you know, as I was going through the NOAA website, it was just overwhelming. I stopped less than halfway through the page on the records just for the 27th. This is not for the entire week. This is for a single day. This is from a few days ago off Ice Age Now. They had another list of new cold records, some dating back to 1870. Taking a look at the temperature departure from average, look at the dark purple over most of the United States while Alaska seems to bake in heat. Jumping over to the Great Lakes ice concentration above last year's almost record totals. At the current ice concentrations and with the persistent cold forecast for the next two weeks across that region, prediction, ice coverage on the Great Lakes will reach 95% this year and it will not melt until the first or second week of July. The thickness of the ice will be thicker than last year. Here's something incredible, Nantucket slush barrels. Look how much ice is in that. That is a slushy in motion. Another look at a different slush barrel. With the cold temperatures this year absolutely freezing the ground deeper than usual, the planting of our crops, our very food source, will be affected. Look for a drive on price. Food prices will rise this year. This is an effect of the cold. And if it gets colder next year, the prices of our food will increase exponentially going forward. Planting seasons are going to be shorter. Crops will be ruined in the field from early snows. Take a look through history. Do some research on the Maunder Minimum. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video.